Hello, it's a video. We're doing a video about the... Uh, so, I'll put some context on this. So, as well as having a YouTube channel here, I also write for a website called The A Periodical, which is a maths news website posting on an irregular basis, as you might imagine. Uh, and one of my fellow editors over there is Peter, who is also a massive fan of Marvel films. And he saw the end credits from the movie Spider-Man No Way Home, uh, which came out last year, it's only recently just come out on streaming as well, um, and he spotted that there was quite a lot of cool math stuff in those end credits and thought it might be cool if someone were to take a look at that and try and maybe pull some of it out and, and talk about what is going on there. Uh, so I thought that was a great idea, uh, as you might be able to tell from my Captain Marvel hoodie and uh, Avengers pillow, uh, I am a bit of a Marvel fan myself. I have brought along with me fellow massive Marvel fan and also maths teacher, Jimmy. Hello. Uh, who is here to assist me in this task. So what we're basically gonna do is watch through uh, the end credits and try and spot any bits of maths in there. We might sort of pause it and talk a little bit about what we can see, uh, but we, you know, we, we may not find all of it. There may be other bits in there that you see as well, uh, but hopefully uh, maybe find some interesting things to talk about, potentially. Yeah. So let's have a go. Let's see what we can find. One thing I should say before we start, if you haven't seen the film, this is literally the end credits of the film. It contains a spoiler for what happens in the film because it's the end credits of the film. It's not unreasonable that they would do that. So if you, if you haven't seen the film, go and watch, go and watch all of the MCU, then watch this film, then come back and watch the rest of this video. So we've got some kind of spiral. Yeah. Is that like a logarithmic spiral maybe? There's like a whole bunch of spirals coming out of the same point, but it looks to be like the it curvature like there's, is... There's a, uh, there's some, um, some proportional relationship between yeah. those curves, right? Yeah, the sort of the the rate of at which it curves is is increasing logarithmically, yeah. maybe. Yeah, those are cool. They're nice spirals. They're pretty. I like it. Pretty I like pretty. it. I, I can't believe how quickly the first maths in, appeared in, in this in thing. Under <laughs> under yeah. seven seconds in. Yeah, this is amazing. All right, continue. So there's loads of stuff on the screen right now. I can see, I think this is an impossible triangle, like a Penrose oh, that triangle. Like, yeah, that but like there are, I think there may be some more of those later, so we can there's maybe talk more about there. those there's later. One up, there. yeah. one up there. There's a whole bunch of like networky, structurey things. Like this is general science -y coolness, I think. Because I, I guess this is an inevitable given that Peter Parker is like the science, science nerd. Maths yeah. nerd. Yeah. Like, it's part of the character, I guess. So they've de deliberately tried to sort of make this be... Uh, and this may be like the sketches on his notebook oh, at school yeah. or something, right? I love it. It's so good. It is. It's the magic number. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, so there we go. This is the impossible triangle. So it's it's like that construction of the, a triangle that looks like it joins onto the back of itself, sort of like a 3D shape. Yeah, one of those things that you doodle and go, oh, that kind of... Uh... Doesn't work, but does, and... Uh... Yeah, it sort of looks at... When you first look at it, you're like, yeah, it's a triangle, and then you look at it a bit more, you're like, no, no. <laughs> that's not a... That doesn't work. That's not a real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's not um, a thing. It's, it's cool. it's, I think it's called a Penrose Triangle, because it's Roger Penrose yeah. off of Penrose Tilings and other maths. Um, but yeah, it's it's sort of a, a crossover arty mathsy thing, I think. Like, you see it a lot in, in people who are trying to do art and be confusing. So... Somewhere in this hip -hop oh, now that is nice because what that's done is it's a Penrose triangle, but it's gone like a Sapinski triangle. So it's like done the fractal thing it's where it's now made of four smaller go. triangles. I you could just keep going. Keep going. I mean, you wouldn't which, want that. Spoilers. Yeah. Kind of fits with the theme. Yeah, it of fits that with movie. the theme. Yeah. Something that might happen. <laughs> Potentially. I think we're allowed to spoiler can at we, this can stage. We say I mean, the, this the credits point. literally have three Spider Mans in. That is, so. that is true, there are. <laughs> and the, the music that's playing is three is the, the magic, magic number. number. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you weren't aware by this point, there's three. There are three Spider Mans. Anyway, <laughs> they're, they're literally right there. <laughs> Was born three, they stub me, and that's a magic number. What does it all mean? Difficult preaching is posthumous pleasure. Pleasure in preaching starts in the heart. Something that stimulates the music in a measure. Measure in the music, racing three parts. Casual oh, so this is good. This is like some kind of gravity well, right? Yeah. So that because there's this thing about gravity, it's like an attractive force between things, and obviously things just moving in 3D space, just move in 3D space. But you can kind of model the effect of gravity by drawing it as a well, because notionally things will fall down it 
like in practice they're actually just getting attracted towards a thing but you can well, think you of can gravity think of it as like a, yeah like a, like a like gradient that you'd get pulled down um so this is a cool little little cool gravity well thing i like that it's good some physics okay. some physics in there Casually see, but don't do like a soul. Cause seeing and doing by actions for monkeys. Doing hip hop hustle, no rock and roll. Unless your name's Brewster, cause Brewster's a punk. Hands let go, cause it's magic in the air. Criticizing rap, so you're out of order. Stop looking, listen to the phrase and fret of stairs. And don't get offended while Mace Dosi does your daughter. I try camera roll system is. Oh, oh, there we go. Some sign curves. I like it. I was like graph paper. As soon as you saw what the graph paper. We get? Here we go, there's something <laughs> yeah. gonna come up. So there's, there's definitely there's a small sign curve, there's a bigger sign curve coming in on the left. It's just a little. A little, little sign curve, just little not hello to the sign curve. A different overlapping waves yeah. doing doing a thing. I like it. Under days of production, it stands for the inner sound, y'all in your cabet. That the action not a trick, but show no function. Everybody wants to be a DJ. Everybody wants to. Bottom left there, Taurus. Bottom right, Ooh, yeah. donut. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, pretty good. Um, that is quite funny. It's there. it's pretty good. I think we see a little bit more of that Taurus later as well. Um, I'm also enjoying the impossible MJ that's there. Like, it's not impossible because they're all shapes that are physically possible, but it's a bit of a Penrose triangle type construction oh. to make a little MJ, which is that good. That J definitely looks like a, a, a Penrose triangle that's been... Yeah, uh... it's like part of an impossible construction. Yeah. But, but MJ is possible, so... I don't know. And she sets a pretty high standard true. for She does set a pretty high standard for us all to, yeah. <laughs> that is, uh, we all aspire to. Cool. Right. Let's carry on. Just back there, can yeah. I skip back? There you go. So there, what's that? Those are, oh, I'm drawing a blank on the name, um, you can plot those on a um, on an axis by, by drawing, joining. Yes, Ooh. yeah, you join the point to this, the thing, yeah, you, I think it's called curve stitching. Curve stitching, have, like, thank you, it's yeah. curve stitching, that's it. Yeah, yeah you yeah. join a point to the thing and then you, you subtract one and you add one. Yes. And you get the same, yeah, that's cool. So you get that sort of curve, is it quadratic? It's something. You, you end up constructing a curve that's like an actual function. Yeah. If only we were mathematicians <laughs> and knew the answer to that question, who knows. Uh, but yeah, there's a couple of those just pop in there, that's good. Everybody wants to be in the but being speakers are the best, and you don't have to. Well, I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch is here now. Uh, that in the background has got to be some kind of hedron, right? There's like a shape made up of triangles. The, 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 yeah. Something. A many, many a faceted shape. Yeah, that's a, a pretty good shape. Shall we sit and count? <laughs> I feel like that's not doing our viewers the best service. No, I feel like no. they, could, they could, you can pause it, do that yourself. Uh, it's a something a hedron. I like it, and there's some spiky stuff in there as well, which are, I guess a lot of the, the sort of spiky shapes that you get are just stellations of a polyhedron anyway. So it's probably the green one is one of those potentially. After guess, you are so passive, cause it's the three, and that's the magic number. Three. This is a piece of wow. Okay, so oh, this wow. is the Taurus is back, but now it's twisted. So it's sort of curving in on itself, and it looks like the whole thing is made out of flat planes. Um, but I think this is this is a thing you can make. I'm not sure if it's got like a name, but it is a very cool sort of construction. Yeah. Because it, it all sort of twists around inside, and it just works. That is nice. very cool. Yeah. And I want one. I might have to have a try at yeah. making that. That does look yeah. fun. Find some instructions and make one yeah. out of card or something. That sounds amazing. Right, carry on. Of the pie is not dessert, but the cost that we dine and three out of every darn time. The effect is mmm when a daisy grows in your mind. Showing true position, this here piece is kissing the part of the pie that's missing. Oh, oh, so you know, oh. they could they could have done anything here, right? Because this is just you know Doctor Octopus's spirally army. Yeah, you could have just had yeah. spirally arms coming out yeah. from point, but they've, they've, but they've done very they've done there. a thing. So this is Fibonacci, right? Because they're they are circles, but they could be squares. Yeah. So this is, uh, yeah, because the, the rectangle on the, the whole shape is going to be a golden rectangle. And then you take off a square piece and you get a golden rectangle. You take off a square piece. piece. Yeah. Rectangle and so that, on, that's so on, a so Fibonacci spiral then. So it's a specific logarithmic spiral that has a very specific ratio of spiraling. That's, that's <laughs> the official term. Yeah, that is so lovely, isn't it? And the, the circles just really make it. I like that. It's good. I've not seen a, a Fibonacci... Square done with circles, with circles but it's, no, it's not where it works, usually go, it? but I guess it would work yeah. with, with, yeah, yeah, 
That's awesome. Get a number fills up the casualty. Maybe you can subtract. So we we're getting hexagons now. They do a lot of hexagons actually because like, like a lot of the spider designs are sort of hexagonal. Um, but there's a lot of really nice like Islamic geometry tilings and stuff that you get that have that kind of pattern. And they they've got this whole a lot of the vibe in the sort of uh, Doctor Strange. Is very. Th th I'm going to say the things that they do when they do that with their hands. You know the things. Um, uh, have a lot of that kind of structure to them because yeah. I think they're taking a lot of inspiration from a lot of those sort of cultural. Those sort of Rangon cultural. Yeah. Uh, pattern. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Styles. Yeah. It's nice. There's a little bit of that in there for Wong. <laughs> yeah. Tracking. You can call it your lucky partner. Maybe. Yeah. But a, a sort of very brief isometric maze. Yeah. Is quite cool. Little maze on isometric uh, on an isometric grid that is. Uh, yeah, there's sort of a 3D perspective aspect to it, which is kind of cool. The red and blue look, like works. That yeah. is quite a nice, work, nice way to get it to pop out. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's good. Keep partner, maybe you can call it your adjective. But odd as it may be, without my wallet. Andrew Garfield uh, gets a cube, uh -oh. apparently. Andrew that's what Andrew Garfield gets. And we've got something in the bottom right. Oh yeah, there's some actual maths. There's some actual maths happening. Some Real maths. A little bit differentiating. Yeah, differentiation. Is square root of two gm over r one. There's some kind of physics. That's that's something to do with uh, attractive physics. Yeah, because right? capital G like that is usually like gravity. And um, n is mass. And r would be a radius between. Yeah, potentially. Something else. Yeah, and then down the bottom there we've got a second derivative of r with respect to. Lambda? <laughs> it's some maths. We've, We've got, got some, some maths actual maths. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. None of this pretty drawing yeah. stuff anymore. We've got some actual... Yeah, and there's also on the right there, you can see like a curve that's got circles of different sizes. Also like got, a 3D... Um, yeah. sections, of a, sections of a volume there. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. Right? So where would there be my three mates past me and that's the magic... Toby gets some maths as well. Uh, so this is like a spiral based on triangles, I guess. Oh, Toby's like got a little chemistry bigger. too. Are they, are oh they... gosh, yeah, there's a molecule. So, um, Tom got some some physics. Yeah. Toby got a little chemistry. There's a little hydrocarbon there. And, and Andrew kind of... got um, what was what did he specialise in? Because they kind of they each took one of the sciences and uh, yeah. Oh, that's adorable. Of... It's really sweet. I love that. Amazing. So this is chemistry. Spider Bros. I know. Magic number. What does it all mean? Focus is formed by flaw to the. This has gone off. So these are like sort of almost Dali-esque like 3D environments, but it's very, a little bit Escher, a little bit Yeah, kind of, I, I imagine we're going to see yeah. some, some more. That's really cool. I love the, the coming in from different, that's very MC Escher, isn't it? The that's sort of very... one coming in from the top, one sitting on a wall. Oh, have we got a little uh, little Molnir little thing at the top left? Little hammer. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Thor's hammer is Thor's up there. Up. There's so many references. I love it. And it's just like... The amount of effort that goes into making credits like this, and people just leave. <laughs> you know, at the end of the film, people just get up and walk out. This is why they've started doing post credit scenes, so that people actually sit, sit and appreciate the you work appreciate that goes into you, this. You appreciate <laughs> the, the key grips work here. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, that is yeah. a very, a very maths and art thing. The, the, the different angles coming from different... Yeah, uh, I did, like the staircase that sort of looks like it's going down the wall, but there's no 3D-ness to it, so yeah. it's sort of... Yeah, that's awesome. Right. What does it all mean? Focus is formed by flaunt of the soul. Souls who fall style gain praises by pounds. Comment on speakers who honor the scroll. Scroll written daily creates a new sound. Listeners listen because this year is wisdom. We've got a nice, um, again, uh, 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 example of some, some mathematical constructions in art. There's these lines here yeah. going down towards a vanishing point. Yeah, off absolutely. The screen, right so you get that sort of perspective effect, but when all the all the squares are there, you can see that they're actually getting closer together, but that just looks like what it would look like yeah. in real life. But yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid with my dad, I used to sit and draw stuff, and you like draw a vanishing point and draw all the lines to it. It's like, this isn't going to work. It's just a load <laughs> of lines. And then I finish like, then suddenly, oh, it looks wow. like a thing. Yeah, this is really cool. I like it. A dub and a plug. Set aside a legal substance to feed them for now. Get them high off this dialect jury. <gasps> oh, wow. Some maths. So, this is a Mobius band, I think. Yeah. I'm going to check how many twists it does because you can also build 
so if you build a Moby Spun with one twist or three twists, you get two different... One of them's Google Drive and the other one's Recycled, <laughs> basically. <laughs> or they're the same. I can't remember which way around it is, but there's two different triangle that wraps around itself you can do. Um, so this one... So that's the outside, that's the inside, and then that's the outside. So this has definitely got an odd number of twists. Maybe one? I think that might be one. One twist. So it's a little Mobius band. A little Mobius band flattened to a, so a wonderful. hexagonal shape. Oh, yeah. One side, three spiders. This is... Yeah, it's just amazing. Time is a factor, so it's time to count. Count not the negative actions of... Ah, now this is a little bit like... Because um, you know you get those sort of hyperbolic plane diagrams. Yeah. Like Escher did a really cool hyperbolic plane one with like swans or birds of some kind. Um, and they're all kind of touching in triangles. But then because on the hyperbolic plane the triangles sort of distort outwards. I wonder if they're going to do that. Maybe they're going to do that until Let's the Poncaro disc. I hope they do. If not, I'm still happy because it's lovely. They're all... And it's like the three different spider suits as well. Like... Oh, yeah, yeah. The suits are all slightly different, so these are three different ones. One, speakers of soul say it's time to shout. Three forms of soul to a positive sum. Dance to this fix of... They just, they just went full MC Escher. There's definitely one Escher drawing that's like staircases everywhere, There is a, right? there's a, um, I wonder if they're going to do the, the impossible staircase that goes... Oh, maybe. Yeah, the one you're you, always where you're always walking, walking upwards, yeah. yeah. Well, this has got... And they're like standing in different... But there's three, definitely an Escher yeah. piece that, that does... does yeah, and that. the person standing... Vertically downwards and one standing horizontally. And yeah. Yeah. To flex every muscle, space can be filled if you ride like my lumber. Advance to the tune, but don't do the hustle. Shake, rattle, or roll. All right, some more of that really nice perspective. There's definitely a vanishing point down the bottom somewhere there, isn't there? Yeah. Add a roll to my magic number. Now you may try to subtract it, but it just... Just a little graph. A 3D <laughs> graph. Just, 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 just tending down to zero like that. Slowly. Like a little, Slowly. little 3D bar chart. But it just won't go away. Three times one. What is it? One, two, three. Yeah. Magic number. Back it's all gone off. Our, it's all gone maths again. Back so to we, our, we take the pl flat plane, we wrap it round into what looks like we're now inside a torus, right? Yeah. There's the middle there's the hole, middle hole and, then and then all the, the other uh, stuff. And there's like a cube with the corners chunked out, which is quite a cool shape. And then another, like it's Some going, there's this cube with the corners cut out and then a further iteration of that. It's yeah. going sort of fractured yeah. there, isn't it? And uh, some kind of network or graph on a sphere, always fun. Yeah, and it like to some, to some extent, some of this is generally just sort of matty looking stuff. It's just but pretty it, looking it's, stuff. It's nice. But if you give it, yeah, you... they've thought about it. Yeah. I think. Yo, what's up? <laughs> it's not, oh, it's not a Taurus. It's Spider Man's oh, face. That, that is awesome. Oh wow! Oh. And then all the stuff's still going on. Oh. Wow. There you go. That was beautiful. It was yeah, really cool, tourist, wasn't it? Oh, it's a yeah. tourist. We know what's up. No, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. It's your friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. It is your friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. Yeah. I think that was that was well worth a look because there's some really nice stuff in there, I think. There was, there was lots going on and, yeah. and just stopping and pausing and yeah. Yeah. So what what you need to do is go to the cinema and then just shout at the projectionist. <laughs> you just pause it. Just go look at the Mobius band for a bit. Yeah. I don't think they're showing it in the cinema anymore. But it is on streaming now, and it's an excellent film. Uh, we're biased. We're very biased. We're very biased. Mm. Um, but yeah, if you spot any other bits of maths in there, this is the most YouTube thing I've ever done. Stick them in the comments. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've had a bit of fun uh, watching this and joining us in getting excited about maths in Spider-Man. <laughs>